guys what is up welcome back to cars and manny so today i have one of my favorite driving cars a 2003 porsche boxster s convertible soft top with a six cylinder naturally aspirated 258 horsepower around there with a curb weight of 2911 pounds this beauty right here it's stock okay um, the only thing aftermarket is the sound system obviously you know most people like their you know their nice sound system and stuff like that this one is available like always with most of my late cars or latest vehicles on the channel at HD Auto Sales um, if you guys want to know just go on that website we have a Ferrari Spider 360 available um, and a couple other cool toys in the lot okay now I am grateful to these people because not only do I work here but they allow me to film these cool vehicles you know now let's talk about the back engine is down here you can't see it that's trunk space like most um, Porsche models from 911s to the Cayman to the Boxster you know you can't see the engine which sucks, but hey, they, they do perform amazing. They are very reliable cars, and I could tell this from personal experience. Um, this one is gorgeous in that Porsche red. I don't really know what the exact color is, but it's Porsche red, okay? Um, for those of you guys that are very, very like into details of everything, here you can see it's factory, well kept, well maintained. This is an old 3 model, so it's pretty old already. You know, you have your controls here for both front and back trunk. Show you guys a little bit on the inside. This one is a 6-speed manual. Um, they do come um, auto also, but this one is actually really, really reliable. Again, you know, it's all black interior. As you can see, your 3 dials on top, your classic Porsche looks on your dial. You can see right through the top of that. This is your, your which I'm going to call it. Most people call it happy face steering wheel. I don't really like it. But hey, it is what it is, right? It's not touchscreen. Yeah, as you, you guys can see, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to see if it's touchscreen. It's not touchscreen. Climate control system. Here you have your little cubby for or ashtray. Your window controllers. These guys, hold, these cars hold up really, really good. Small glove compartment, as you can see, you're gonna fit the manual in there, which you don't want to get rid of. Most of these cars will become classic. This one is not yet. The leather is awesome. Here you can see your roll bars. With this, you release the top so you could remove the the soft top. I won't be doing it in this video. This car just hit the lot, so I'm not trying to mess with the soft top just in case, you know. Here you have your small little mirrors. This one is in very, very good condition, low miles. So if you guys are interested, go on the website. I will put it down below towards the end of the video. Pretty good range. It is a small cabin in here. It's, it's pretty it's pretty small, okay? There's a Boxster. This is not a 911. As you guys know, 911s are pretty small. But this is a Boxster. Let's show you guys the front trunk space. There is a spare tire usually in these cars, so let's see. In this one, there should be. And I just closed it by mistake. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Okay. So that's that's one of the um, pros and cons on the Boxster. If you do want to roll around for security with your spare, it's in there, so it's going to take some, some space for your luggage if you're trying to take this, like, you know make this a touring car you guys can see the amps here so that means yes they did amp up the music system that's your spare tire you could fit at least two small bags if for a convenient duffel bags is way better okay let's go show you guys the back there's more trunk space it's very limited in the back it gets pretty warm down on um, back here so i suggest if you go for groceries and stuff like that don't put them back there a gallon of milk you don't want to put that back there for long for a long drive okay might want to store that in the front 
So you could fit a duffel bag here. Okay, here you have your, your floor mats that they left we left back here, your oil and your cooling. I mean your window, your windshield fluids and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken, trunk release. Um you have your nice retractable um spoiler or tail, however you guys want to call it. Let's walk around the car. This is your soft top. This one has been maintained a little bit. It's a couple of you know scrubs and stuff like that. It's pretty rough. Here you control your you know your seats, your backrest. As you guys can see, it's stick shift. This is a manual. Let's walk around the car a little bit. Show you guys the Boxster logo, Boxster S. Now this one has been garage cap. Um, a little bit of sun did hit it. As you guys can see, the red is a little bit more light on the top, and that's because of the sun. It was garage cap though for the last year. We do have the Ferrari still available. I already did a video on that if you guys want to go see it. Okay, have your little bumper guards on the back with dual exhaust right through the middle. Sounds really, really good. You guys, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a nice night.